Hello everybody and welcome to the G-Rated Family Gaming Channel. I want to show you guys how to make your own very simple obby from scratch here in Roblox uh, Studio. So first thing you're going to do, they have uh, this obby. Basically it's a pre-made thing. So you just click on that. We're not actually going to use this uh, except for to grab a piece of code. Uh, see these checkpoints over here? So the checkpoint is a part. They've just got a decal on it. and But there's a script here. So you want to go over there to where it says script on that part on the right side under the workspace. And then you will get this code here open that up copy this and then open up a, a page of notepad and then after you copy this paste it in notepad so you've got it later because you're going to have to use this later uh, because we're going to show you how to make a couple different levels and make uh, checkpoints that work so this is the code that you're going to use so after we're done with this we're going to close this one that is just their little sample obby we're going to use code for that later for other videos on uh, making traps but we're going to go to just a, a regular baseline here and then as soon as you go in here into the normal baseline you see you've got that big uh, you know brick there at the bottom so you can actually go in there and just remove just delete that whole thing and then you've just got a big open space there's nothing no parts nothing so you're gonna want to start with a spawn location you can go to the tools here on the left and you can find it in like Roblox let's see what the the Roblox sets and Roblox sets you can find that uh, or on the right you can always just kind of go and uh, grab a spawn location this way if you search for spawn yeah you can so you can go and uh, click on workspace and add a plus here over on the right side of the Explorer so uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make this a big platform for now you can do it however you want you can make it a small uh, thing with other parts around it if that's how you prefer to do that uh, so we're gonna grab a bunch of parts if you don't know how to make parts and just kind of put parts here and do all the move and all the rotate and and all that stuff that is explained in the first tutorial video uh, so make sure you guys go and check that out we're gonna make a playlist and we'll make sure to uh, put the link in that in the description if you want to know just how to move parts and just basic navigation here in Roblox studio so we are just grabbing these parts that we've got we're gonna copy them we're pasting them and this last one here we're gonna turn this into our checkpoint it's pretty simple first level it'll be pretty easy and uh, so we're gonna go to plus on that checkpoint on the right on explore and then we're gonna search for script uh, so we're going to grab a script and then open that up, get rid of the hello world thing. And this thing that we have in the notepad, copy that and then paste that here in the script. So then that basically makes this little spot behave like a checkpoint. And we're going to rename it here on the right in Explorer as well. But it just kind of looks lame. So on the toolboxes, if you go to decals, you can find all sorts of decals. You can search for checkpoint and you can put checkpoint decals on there. Or you can go to the top and you can search for spawn and you can get these different spawn location pictures. Uh, I think this one's pretty cool. So I think we're going to put this one on here so we have now a checkpoint and we can use this checkpoint to copy and paste for other checkpoints if we're going to make other levels uh, now for these blocks they kind of look lame just gray uh, so if you click on a part you can open up properties if you don't have it open you can go to the uh, view and then click on the properties window so you've got the properties window and you can use the properties window to change the colors and change some properties uh, if you change the brick color there and, and the color on the right as you can see you can go through and you can change the colors and and you can change the surfaces as well because if you look up at the top in the model uh, tab we've got the different surfaces and we're using just a brick surface and we can also change the color uh, from up there as well so there's a couple different ways to do a couple different things but we're just gonna color it make it look a little cooler oh so we're gonna test it now and did you see all my parts fall did you see them all fall so what do we do we forgot to anchor the parts so go through all of the parts and then click on each one and then make sure you anchor them if if you are doing this correctly you'll anchor the first one and then copy and paste that first part and then everything will be anchored and you won't have to go back and do this uh, so see oh there's still a brick that we forgot oh there was a thinner brick under there okay so we're just gonna test the distances right now though ooh that's quite a distance so now we're gonna go back and we're gonna move so we tested it out and some of these bricks are a little bit too far apart for the user to jump so this part of it make sure you kind of go back and test and test your distances but you can basically create the level however you want you can do bricks you can do uh, different parts you can make them as far spaced as you want you can make like a, a thin beam if you want you can make certain bricks that make you go oof uh, the next video is where we're gonna show you how to do traps and how to make these parts basically uh, kill the player as they're playing it so uh, there we go we're gonna go and test this out still a little too far apart and this surface was a little bit different so okay so here we're gonna test this one more time gonna go across here okay so that that looks pretty good and we're gonna test to see if this checkpoint works so we're gonna jump off and see if it respawns us at the checkpoint 
Okay, so there we go. It spawned us at the new checkpoint. So we know that is working. Make sure you've got that script on the right part that you want to work as a checkpoint. So now we're going to make a second level. We're just going to start adding on uh, these, these round balls. Okay, so now instead of just doing those bricks the way we had it, we're going to add some of these balls. Copy, paste. Make sure you uh, anchor each one. Uh, I think I may have like, forgot to anchor one of these. Uh, you can kind of line them up however you want. Uh, these, you know, come up, are kind of moving left and right a little bit. Uh, you know, but the player's still gonna be able to jump on them. It'll be kind of a little jump on the stairs of these little red balls. Okay, and then grab this spawn location. No need to grab the code and do it differently. So you can just copy and paste that spawn location and then look all the way around and just see how things are lined up and if you want them to be lined up the way that they are. Okay, so, whoops, I accidentally moved that thing over there. Okay, this ball. Uh, just making sure that they're all anchored. Got to go through and anchor all of them. Uh, so now we're gonna go and test it out go over there and oh no It looks like I forgot to anchor one of them. Okay, so yeah uh, Anchoring is something that you'll definitely learn to get uh, more proficient at as you can see I still need to work on it a little bit. So all right, let's go test this out second level Okay, working up here and let's see if this checkpoint works and we're gonna fall off and see if we respawn in that location Yay, okay, so that is how to do just a basic obby. That's two levels. That's how to do checkpoints how to color your stuff uh, We're gonna show you guys how to make traps and all sorts of moving things and other fun stuff later Because we are going to add to this thing But make sure you go up there and you save it in the upper left uh, You can call it whatever you want and then save it and then also make sure if you want to you can publish it And you can change all those settings there. We will do a video as well to kind of show you the details of how to publish a video a, a game uh, but make sure you guys hit the no subscribe button and the notification bell thank you for watching bye